Pastorville Bethel Lutheran Church. We're located in Green Valley. Today's the 16th of August. It's a Monday. Please pray with me. Lord, we remember well the words of Joshua. As for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. Help us always to have grateful hearts of service. We pray this in your name. Amen. And our reading for today is from the book of Acts, the Acts of the Apostles, the sixth chapter, the first seven verses of that chapter. In those days when the number of disciples was increasing, the Hellenistic Jews among them complained against the Hebraic Jews because their widows were being overlooked in the daily distribution of food. So the twelve gathered all the disciples together and said, It would not be right for us to neglect the ministry of the Word of God in order to wait on tables. Brothers and sisters, choose seven men from among you who are known to be full of the Spirit and wisdom. We will turn this responsibility over to them, and will give our attention to prayer and the ministry of the Word. This proposal pleased the whole group. They chose Stephen, a man full of faith and the Holy Spirit, also Philip, Procurus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas from Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles, who prayed and laid their hands on them. So the word of God spread. The number of disciples in Jerusalem increased rapidly, and a large number of priests became obedient to the faith. Here ends our reading. We can see that in this beginning of the church, where it's just starting to take off, so soon, just bare decades after the ministry of Christ on the earth, we're seeing in the midst of this early part of the church where there are people who are earnest, people who are dedicated, and people who are applying themselves to sharing the word and growing the church. It's something that we would be, well, it would be well for us to do, to examine this and consider how our own faith life is involved in our own congregation. How it is that we share of ourselves, or is it possible that we could share even more in time, talent, and treasure? It's evident from these first believers how they gave everything. They gave their all. They saw their attention to the Word and sharing their faith as paramount in their lives. It wasn't fourth or eighth place. It wasn't something they did only on holy days or when they were getting together with relatives. But it was something that was con it was continual. It was constant. It was a forever thing in their lives. May we too always be inspired by the Holy Spirit, which gathers us together as the people of God to serve constantly and without fail. Please pray with me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May God continue to bless you and strengthen you. Amen.
immortal, invisible, God only wise, enlightened, accessible, hid from our eyes, most blessed, most glorious, the ancient of days, almighty, victorious, thy great name we pray. Silent as light, nor wanting, nor wasting, Thou rulest in might, Thy justice like mountains, high soaring above, Thy clouds which are fountains of goodness and love. Almighty, victorious, Your grace, Your great name we praise, O Lord. To all life Thou givest, the great and the small. To all life Thou livest, the true life of all. We blossom and flourish as leaves on the tree. And wither and perish, but not change thee. Great Father of glory, pure Father. 